Hey guys, this is Brick, and welcome back to Ham, a documentary. When we left off, I got a little note thing right there, and now Serena's I'm gonna go talk to the crazy lady. Again, but I'm gonna need that key so I can get the power back on. Stop moaning in there. You again? I'm really just here to get the keys so I can get the power back on. You wanna hold me down? It's okay. I know you like that. Yeah, I'll just grab the keys. I could be like your wife. Little wifey, waiting at home for hubby. Or you could be the mailman, or the neighbor. Porn star. I'm already married Skank, to proud of Miss Porn star. Crazy, thanks. I'm just gonna go and get the power back on. Aww. Look, I may or may not be back. I have the access code to the booth already, so once the power is on... You should totally come see me. We could have fun. You know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> He's like, oh, hmm, damn it, it's been a while, maybe. <laughs> you should sit down or something. Try to stay calm. I don't want to be calm. I want to be nasty. I want to be nasty with you. Yeah, okay. You could do anything you want. You can use my... Let's not even go there. <laughs> I was hoping that you'd remember more, but I guess that was too much to ask. Herp derp. Derp. Brainwash skank. It's like high school. All right. Is this still the same radio broadcast? I'm about to do the weather, but uh, I see we no, have it's a not. Uh, hey, you're on the air with Eddie. What's up? Hey, Eddie, it's Ricky. You talked about fate before. You think about that a lot? Not a lot, to be honest, but uh, I take it you do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any conclusions you'd care to share, uh, Ricky? Well, we've got free will, right? That's in the Bible and everything. Yeah, right, sure. So free will, right? Am I right? I mean, if we can do what we want, how can there be fate? I mean, you don't know what's going to happen next, so there's no fate. There's just people doing stuff. Well, I don't know, Ricky. I don't suppose you have considered the possibility that we're all here in the service of a greater purpose. Incomprehensible to us. What? And that what we take to be freedom is nothing more than the move of a pawn on some cosmic huh. chessboard. Limited in scope, subject to the whims of unseen players, existing only for their entertainment. Or perhaps we're just a twisted reflection of actual events that oh can my goodness. elsewhere. Could it be that such is life in Night Springs? Um, dude. What? Food for thought, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good reaction. <laughs> oh god damn it. What do you want? God damn it, Mr. Wake. Other Mr. Wake, Mr. Scratch Wake. Hua! Toro! Boink. I nice try there, Lumberjack. You know, Tim Allen, I remember you being smaller. Alright, let's uh let's move on. Uh, yeah. Sawed off? Don't mind if I do. I haven't been to the souvenir shop. Let's go to the souvenir shop, guys. I'll buy you something. After I get that page. Hello. Car in flight. The car seemed to sail through the crisp mountain air in slow motion, oh, yeah. spinning around one axis almost lazily. The moment was hypnotic. Then it struck the pipeline in a shower of sparks, the impact turning the windshield into a burst of safety glass. As it hit the ground, I snapped out of my reverie. The car was rolling downhill, slowing down as every bump killed momentum but still coming. The fence wouldn't be enough to stop it. Oh yeah, I remember. I was there. That happened. I think, right? I'm not hallucinating. I'm loose and imaginating. Up 
up, up, up. And ooh, we. Manuscript, Manu. I have changed. I know who I am now. I know that I can write my own fate. Bright Falls taught me that. I know that indulging my weaknesses, giving in to fear and complacency will only drag me down. The Dark Place taught me that. I'm no Zen master. I've not attained enlightenment. But I have learned to let go of the things that I don't need. I know that without that balance within, I become my own worst enemy. Now I strive for equilibrium. And with that, I'm strong enough to get where I want. I don't actually think I followed that one, but maybe they'll explain it or something. Or I'm just, you know, having an off day. But I want souvenirs! Let me in! I want souvenirs. God dang it. What? Um. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. I will take the crossbow. <laughs> that is the best souvenir I could have asked for. How badass is that? All right, let's go freaking crossbow something. What do you want? Ugh. Ugh. Boink. Hey, no, 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 Mister. What are you, Gordon Freeman? What's up with the crowbar? Doesn't sound powerful enough. This is not the crossbow I imagined. Oh, good. Good, that's what I needed. I guess if you really need a parking spot, that's a pretty useful skill. Oh, shit. Oh, that's kind of excellent. Woo! Oh, that was good. Oh, that was good. See, that's what the other that's what the crossbow should feel like, much more powerful. It sounds like a pea shooter. It's like a dink. I shot a little crossbow bolt. Good dink. Good think. Oh, what do you want this time? I want to talk about Alice. Oh, no. Just look at her. She's really beautiful, isn't she? Your wife. Well, our wife, really. Just my wife soon. Oh, no. Not, not cool, Don't bro. Don't worry. I'm not going to treat her like the others. She's special. If I wanted her dead, she would be. I've been around for a while now. I'm so talented. You haven't seen her new work, of course. Oh, it takes my breath away. Really, she's that good. Oh. Did you know that I've got a wedding ring, too? With that similar. She's seen me a couple times, you know. I've let her catch glimpses. She thinks she's imagining things, of course. She thinks you're dead. It might as well be. I mean, even if you manage to keep surviving, you'll be in my trap forever. So I'll go to her. It'll be an amazing moment. Oh my god, you're alive. <laughs> I'll be the good, loving husband for as long as I can stand it. She'll love it. And then, one day, somehow, it'll happen. Maybe I'll slip up, she spots something, or maybe she just starts running her mouth. And then, I'll do it. It's going to be sweet. <sighs> My darling wife. 
Jesus. If I were Alan, I'd just be yelling at the TV. It's like, what the f- Ah! It's messed up! Am I going the right way? No, seriously. I, I don't think I'll go the right way. <laughs> Stop it. Bugs. Bugs are Satan. Where the hell am I going? Where does this lead? I'm gonna get lost for a moment, guys. Just bear with me. There might be some notes over here or something. Yeah, see, there's a, there's a manuscript page. It's not all pointless. Just mostly. Mr. Scratch's trap. The trap Mr. Scratch has set for me is as simple as it is impossible. Whenever I reach him, he sends me back to the beginning of the maze. It's a loop in time. I go through it only to end up where I started. There's a brutal genius to it. If I die, it's over for me. If I survive, I end up where I started. Sooner or later, the odds will catch up with me. And in the meantime, he gets to toy with me. But that's why I have a chance. He's caught in this pattern just as much as I am. I know where he'll be, and I'm prepared. All right, I'm calling it. He's gonna, we're gonna get a hit. We're gonna hit Mr. Scratch with something. We're gonna like damage him. He's gonna get pissed off. We're gonna go through a third loop. Hopefully we can save Sarah at the beginning and hopefully inappropriate science lady puts on a, a regular work attire. And then Skank, Skankerpotamus will, I don't know, Freaking do something. And then all will be well. Because we'll. Final boss battle is totally going to be in that big black misty area that we keep seeing the real action. Oh my god. Cutscene's in. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, hello. And Mr. Flair. Have you met Mr. Flair? Let me, let me introduce you. Have you met Mr. Shotgun? His name is Freddy. And he likes to kill people. A lot. Like a lot. He really likes to kill people. Okay, so let's try and actually get to the power this time. How do we do that? Paths over here. Is this the same place that it was last time? Can't really remember. All I know is I'm actually kind of low on ammo right now, and it doesn't really make me very happy. Um, three shots, huh? Probably should make a break for that light. Like a little hamster in a wheel. Go ahead and keep running for all the good it'll do you. I should probably make a run for it. Probably. Pop a flare. What? That was not what I meant to do. Damn it, that was freaking annoyingly dumb. Alright. Come at me, bros. Ooh. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> Maybe this will kill him. Nope, just knocks him over. Okay, running. Come on. Come on. Can I open this? Get it. Get the assault rifle. Fire it! No! Oh, it's got to dodge. Ah! <laughs> yeah. That was sweet. I think this is an M16. I know it's an M-something. It's just what an M-something gun looks like. Alright, let's uh, let's grab this manuscript page. It's on the other side of the damn fence!
There's two of them right around here. There's some creepy ass sounds coming around here. The dark place is utterly hostile to human life. It eats at your mind, wants you to succumb to madness. Your own thoughts can turn against you. Every shadow conceals a threat that attacks at the slightest sign of weakness. You're under endless assault. Every day is a struggle for survival. But I've learned to take care of myself. I focus on Alice, our life together, my need to be with her. That takes me a long way in the dark place. As long as I have my gun and the flashlight. Oh God, don't take away our gun. There's a, there's a spot that happens in the first game and it's just, it's not fun. It's a lot of running and a lot of flares. So it looks like that last manuscript page is inside. Let's see if I can't find that and then, then get a checkpoint. There we go. All right, Serena. For Serena Valdivia, burning the midnight oil was more of an exception than a rule. A procrastinator and a perfectionist, she often worked when she wouldn't be disturbed. Tonight was especially important. The film festival would open tomorrow, and there was still so much to sort out. It wasn't that the work hadn't been done. She just didn't feel like she had completely mastered everything yet. Huh. Not sure what that means. All right. So spiders this time, huh? Lovely. I don't like spiders because I can't shoot them. It's a problem with me. I like to shoot them. Just regular shotgun, I'm good. I got this. Well, that was easy. Come on, spiders. Oh, they're so cute, aren't they? Aren't they cute? Hey, 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 you wanna see something? Bye bye. Noobs. Uh, damn it, I was. My timing is awful. Ow, 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 ow! Jesus. Let's, uh. God, who designed this freaking generator? All right. Damn it. Leave me alone. I feel like they should stop doing spider-only sections. I don't find those as interesting. Maybe if they had, like, a mix of enemies. Alright. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. I will see you next time. I'm done with you, people.